All right, so Stephen, how did you get into astrology? Uh, when I was uh, 13 years old, I, I discovered palmistry. And uh, the symbols on, on your palm, the, the, way the, uh, the way palmistry is organized intellectually is actually around planets. You have a plane of the moon and a plane of Jupiter and so on. So I, I developed a, a real deep affinity for palmistry. And at the same time, uh, I had also become an amateur astronomer. It was a fascination of mine ever since I was a little boy. In fact, my first memory uh, as, a, as a child was wanting a telescope for Christmas and just so I could look at the stars. Um, when I was uh, going through my teens, I had these two independent lines of development, a serious kind of science metaphor interest in astronomy and uh, just a fascination with palmistry and the fact that we could learn about people, uh, not to mention get to hold hands with girls through uh, the device of palmistry. When I was uh, 18 years old, uh, I had my tonsils out kind of late in life and I was lying in bed recovering and my mother asked me if uh, she could get me a book and I said uh, yeah get me an astrology book and her eyes got a little wide but she wasn't against it so she bought me an astrology book and and uh, quickly another one and uh, all of a sudden the, the sense of of magic and wonder that that had arisen in me from looking through telescopes at the heavens fused with the 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 basic mindset of uh, I think ancient psychology that that had come to me through palmistry the two came together and uh, astrology just exploded in my mind and and in my heart and and never let go you know that was 40 years ago and I, and it's been my life basically every day since then